Foul smell coming from low-lying areas of the west side near the Rio Grande will be coming to an end in just a few weeks. That's according to the El Paso Water Utilities, who says the Frontera was uh, Wastewater Line project is nearing completion. ABC 7's Will Heron is on the west side where the final connection is being made to end the need to discharge raw sewage into the Rio Grande. He joins us live. Will. That's correct, Jack. I'm out here at that spot where the final fiberglass pipe fitting was connected. Now, at the moment, the Oscar Rinda, who's the contractor, has the lights all set up. They've been working day and night to get this thing finished as fast as possible. But since we have such great lighting, I want you guys to take a peek right now into this hole. Now, you can see this long pipe going down towards where the pipeline is, that's a heater. Now, from what the contractors here told me, what they're using that for is to heat the fiberglass fitting to the actual pipe to make sure that it fits a lot tighter and it starts to kind of melt to, to meld to the actual pipe. Now, they've been down there for multiple hours. You can see the gentleman is actually under the pipe trying to make sure that the fittings are, are set up and good. To the right and to the front of the pipe, you can see other pipes that have been buried. Now, those are the old pipeline that they're not using anymore. They're all cut off and not being used. Once this is completed, the water will be going in to the Hickerson Reclamation Center and then out into the Rio Grande. According to the El Paso Water Utilities, during the stormy months of August, the steel pipes that you see in there that move the west side's water, wastewater, to the treatment plants rupture, causing millions of gallons of sewage water to flood the lower lying areas of the west side. The connection will eventually end the 10 million gallons of wastewater a day that was forced to be poured into the Rio Grande, which caused such a horrendous smell. Chief Operations Operator Gilbert Trejo said that the new pipes that are being used are made with reinforced fiberglass, which will prevent them from corroding. Over the coming weeks, we'll see a reduction uh, in discharge into the river. Water will be delivered to the, wa to the wastewater treatment facility, where it will be treated, and again, to this high quality, and then put back into the river the way it's supposed to be. This project has been ongoing for well over a year. The contractor worked um, faster with more forces over the last four months to finish it even faster. Now I asked Trejo a little bit earlier to find out where are the actual pipe fittings that were stuck inside the cargo container in Houston that did not arrive. He told me that they have arrived and they used them in the project to make sure nothing was wasted. Here on the West Side, I'm Will Heron, ABC7.